Good afternoon, beautiful people. This is Chris Haynes coming to you from my home office today uh, on Tuesday, April the 21st, 2020. It's another beautiful day here in Henderson County. I hope that you are getting to enjoy the sunshine and the weather today. It's a, a reminder that spring is here no matter what else is going on around us and we can enjoy all the beauty that is part of this season. So hope you get a chance to do that a little bit today. A few announcements for you. Uh, wanted to let you know, you've probably seen this in the uh, news outlets, but just so that you will know, uh, our church, or at least our church parking lot, will be the location for a COVID testing center this Sunday afternoon uh, from noon to 3 p.m. this coming Sunday, the 26th. Uh, we were asked if uh, they could use our parking lot just to have a very visible, easily accessible place for folks to have drive-in testing. People will be coming in their cars and staying in their cars and folks, uh, medical staff will be there to help swab and test and do all the things that are necessary there. So I tell you that partly because if you need to be tested or if you know of anybody who needs to be tested, uh, these tests are free. Uh, to you and they also my understanding is you do not have to be showing any particular symptoms in order to be tested so this would be a great time just to if, if, if you or somebody you know has been just feeling the urge to get a test this is a great time to do it this coming Sunday from noon to 3 uh, in the parking lot between our church and First Bank so uh, just wanted to let you know about that also wanted to make you aware that this Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., Connor and I will be resuming our Wednesday night Bible studies. What we've decided to do right now is a version of something that people have been asking for for a while. Uh, sometimes uh, when we talk about having confirmation classes for our teenagers, uh, I have adults come and say, you know, it would be really helpful to have something like that for adults. And so we are having a Confirmation for Adults class, or, or United Methodism 101. I haven't decided what we're calling it yet, but basically just talking about the basics of our faith with a little bit of a Methodist twist on it, and why it is that Methodists do the things that we do. So uh, we'll be starting that out this Wednesday night at 6 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure that you uh, take advantage of that if that sounds interesting to you. And then a word of thanks to everybody who has already started sending me photos. Uh, I gave you guys some homework assignments yesterday, and that's going to continue through this week. Uh, people have already been sending me pictures of uh, things or people who uh, just demonstrate what it looks like to love and to be loved during this time of social distancing. And so if you have not already... Uh, done that, I invite you to send me a picture either by text message or email, or you can post it on one of these Facebook posts. Uh, just to, uh, I, I'm working on a project, we'll, we'll be sharing some of these pictures uh, just as a demonstration of what love looks like right now. And so, uh, if, uh, thank you to everybody who's already sent in those pictures. If you haven't had a chance to do that yet, I invite you to think about that. And again, that could look like, you know, somebody who brings groceries for somebody else or somebody who gets to have a connection or, or you know, spend some extra time with a family member or provides food for somebody, you know, wh whatever it is, um, just uh, take a picture, send it to me. Uh, you don't have to have any particular explanation. Uh, and uh, we will use that as part of this project we're working on. So thank you for that. Uh, the theme for my midday devotionals this week is love. That's kind of what I'm trying to get us to think about and what it is that love looks like for us right now. Uh, it might not feel exactly the same as it does during our regular day-to-day -day lives, but uh, love is still important to us. It's the heart of everything that we do as Christians. And to help us remember that, I wanted to read for you uh, the verses from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, probably the most famous chapter in the Bible about love. And uh, I always have to say that this is something that a lot of times you will hear read at weddings, which is great, 
But this is not just, it's not even primarily about the love between spouses. This is about love uh, that we as Christians show for one another, um, self-sacrificial love for the welfare of each other. So uh, hear these words from 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three. And the greatest of these is love. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I pray that you will experience God's love today. And as we contemplate what that looks like, I invite you to join me in prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, in the mystery of Easter, you established the new covenant of reconciliation Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Together we pray today for the people of our congregation and of every congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, especially for the healing of all those who suffer from COVID-19, that you would heal them completely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For medical professionals and other essential workers in our healthcare system, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our business owners and employees who face uncertain times, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, local, state, and national, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for and with the communion of all the saints, Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We are bold to pray using the words that Jesus taught his first disciples as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Love you guys. Again, thank you for sharing the ways that you are loving each other during this time. And don't forget to send me some pictures of what that looks like for you and your families. Hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.